Jim, there's uh, inevitably uh, the weather's going to um, get a lot of the headlines and we'll just touch on that first. Have you ever seen anything like that or played anything like that in your time in rugby? Um, I've played and been involved in sort of some snowstorms, some hailstorms, but I don't think ever quite as severe as that. And I think just to see in, in open play, players physically turning around and not looking at the ball was incredible. And uh, I think the referee did the right thing. I don't know if he actually made that decision or if the players made the decision, but it was right, the right thing. Get off for a few minutes and, and, and then continue. And yet we're now standing here, clear skies, bit of a breeze, kind of sums up the entire day. Really. I mean, how difficult was it for the lads to, to keep on their concentration in, in such changeable conditions? Yeah, it, it was difficult. And I said in the chain room beforehand, it's actually not a bad day. We talked about maybe raining and, and, and being bad conditions. But actually, when we first came out, it was just a little bit of, of, of wind, but um, a bit wet underfoot, but generally fine. But no, it, it, the wind picked up, the hail, the rain came down. At half time, the lads were in there. Some were actually shivering. I think you know once you get cold and then there's a, a wind it is difficult so I think that was um, e e even more proud of the players for the way they played kept the dragon scoreless in the second half you know taking the the three tries that you scored yourselves out of it what was was that almost as pleasing as sealing the bonus point when yeah, it was. I think um, massive performance from the pack. I think our line out in difficult conditions was very, very good. We scrummaged for 80 minutes, so we had three new lads who came on in the second half. They scrummaged really, really well. Uh, our our half backs controlled the games, and our backs um, tackled well, really defended well, took our chances. And um, you know, nice to see Ken PC sliding into the penalty area to stop that uh, stop that attempt to try. James Wilson came back from injury, played the entire game. But Ben Nutley came off in the bench in the second half to make some crucial turnovers. You know how pleased are you with the way they've come back after their injury? Very pleased. It's, it's why the competition is very good. It, it's. Um it serves a great opportunity to those lads who have not had enough game time for the first team who, who have been on the bench or been injured and uh, really pleased to see a number of those players have some good game time and uh, hopefully that can continue next week. Talking of next week, you could have a semi-final spot sealed tomorrow afternoon if Newcastle don't win at Saracens, um, but still there's a home semi-final to play for. Yeah, and um, it's about momentum really, and we've got some good momentum now, we're winning some games, and um, it is great that you're not worried too much about which team it is, who you're swapping around, and it's strength and depth, and it's a winning culture, a winning environment, which is very pleasing. So next week it's going to be difficult, Sarri's got a massive squad, so what, whoever they bring, it'll be, a, it'll be a tough game. So it'd be nice if we qualify for the semis t tomorrow. Um, but you know we'll go out all out to, to win the game next week. We're at home. We never like to lose, particularly at home. Quite unbelievable scenes. Have you ever had to feel like that in a game before? No, not like that. Uh, the hail and the wind uh, just before half time was uh, there was something you see on on TV when they're doing a documentary about the Arctic. So uh, pretty uh, pretty unusual. It's something that probably played in the Saints' hands though. The forwards were already going well before that. Just a case of tightening up the game and using the conditions to your advantage. Yeah, I think uh, the forwards you know, set a good platform all game. I think we were you know, we were close to 100% in the line out, which in those conditions was was, uh, was something to be proud of. Mikey Hayward did well, all four props did well, and, uh, and a good result. Came down here last year, it was a tough game. Uh, another tough one today, but just keeping it tight, uh, that's what allowed you to get clear, I guess. Yeah, if, if something's working, you stick with it, and if the, uh, the crowd want to boo you until you're boring, then you, uh, you stick it up the jumper again and score another try and, uh, and go home with the win. How much emphasis did you put on this game, coming here and getting the win, obviously leaving yourself open for a, a home semi-final against Saracens next week if you win that game? No, I think the coaches you know, set the stall out that we weren't just going to send a team of youngsters down, we, we sent a, a team of you know, a mix, experience and youth, and, and more youth came on in the second half, and um, a good victory and a, and a good experience for all the lads involved. That's 14 wins in 15 games now, Premiership, Harding Cup, LV Cup, I guess, it doesn't matter, the momentum's there. Yeah, we always like to win. We're, I think we've had a you know really good away record for the last two seasons. Our home record's getting there, and uh, more more big games to come. I can see you're shivering, Christian. Just I one am. final question: How do you get warm after something like that? I'm gonna go straight in the shower in my kit. <laughs>